Hello everyone and thank you very much for inviting me to talk to you about textual analysis with Teammates Analytics. First of all, quick introduction. My name is Charlie Walker. I'm the CEO of reInvent Data Limited. I'm a chartered accountant with eight years of data analytics experience and I'm also the creator of TopCats, a data analytics package or CATS package. Although TopCats is no longer called TopCats, we have recently entered into a licensing agreement with Walters Kluwer and TopCats is being incorporated into their teammate brand and rebranded as Teammate Analytics. It's the same product and it's being developed by the same team. We're still very much involved, but we've now got the backing of a huge industry leader to help us grow the use of data analytics and CATS throughout the audit industry. So what is Teammate Analytics? Well, it's an Excel-based CAT solution containing a wide range of audit tools. There are over 150 tools and features in Teammate Analytics in total. It is incredibly easy to use. It leverages the familiar Excel interface that everyone's already using on a daily basis. And so it has very low training requirements. In fact, in a minute, I'm going to jump over to Excel and show you a couple of the tools that are relevant to textual analysis. And just by watching uh, five minutes of demonstrations, you'll have the skills that you need to carry out similar analytics on your own data using Teammate Analytics. And I'll also let you know how you can get hold of a 30 day trial so that you can go and do that yourself. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to jump over to Excel and show you some of Teammate Analytics. Okay, so here we are in Excel and you can see the Teammate Analytics ribbon that's present and that's there now every time I open Excel containing the vast majority of the Teammate Analytics functionality. Now, the first thing I'd like to show you is the ability to store lists of words or phrases for easy recall later. So here I've got a document that's come from Jim and Rich that contains some of the words that came out of the survey that many of you guys will have filled out. And I'm going to go to the options and I'm going to click on the comments tab. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is create a new list and I'm going to call it audit net top 25 and then I'm going to add some words to that list as well so I'm going to click import from range and I'm going to select the top 25 words there and you can see it's imported all of those words into this list for us now you can import lists and you can export lists so it makes it really easy to share with colleagues and you can have as many different lists as you like stored in here Okay, so now I'm going to jump over to a data file. And here we've got a list of journal postings and the field we're particularly interested in looking at is the description field in this case. So I'm going to use the specifics comments tool. And I'm going to select the range that I'm interested in looking at, which is column N in this case. And I'm going to add that stored list. So audit net top 25. You could add words to this list. You could add multiple store lists at once to look for. You can import more words from a range if you like. So you can build up your list however you like. And I'm going to click OK. And Teammate Analytics will go off and it will search for all of those words or phrases anywhere in that description column. And we get a nice report here. And we can see the comments that have been found have been added into this column here. And the cell that that word was found in has been colored in red. Now, we only selected one column, so it's pretty obvious where it's going to have found that word. But if we'd have searched the whole sheet, then it could have appeared in any of these columns and the appropriate cell would be colored red. Now, there are a number of items that it's found here. In fact, in this 100,000 row report, nearly 4,000 have matched one of those comments. And quite a lot of them appear to be saying reserve and got very similar sort of comments. So or the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a pivot table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that comment found to both the row label and the values area. And I'm just going to sort that. So now we can see a summary of what words were found and how many times they were found. And we can double click on any of these to drill down. So if I want to see all those reserve amounts, I can double click and you can see we've got all of these reserve. Um, that's Teammate Analytics that has renamed that sheet for you there. That's not standard Excel uh, functionality. That's a, a Teammate Analytics feature there. Um, and we can see, we can look at these description columns and we can go through and we can audit those. If we come back to this pivot table, um, we might want to go and drill down and, and investigate some of these correct items. We can also select a number of items and on the pivot table, right click, 
menu, teammate analytics, adds two options to show detail onto separate sheets for each of those cells or onto the same sheet, which is uh, a drill down that we've got here. And we can see we've got all of those commission items, then those problem areas there. Um, and we can see these have all got the word problem in their error. And so we can investigate uh, a bit further. So just something else to point out, TopCats includes a number of what we call the section modules, and these allow you to perform a vast number of testing on a single area all at once. Um, so I'll just open up the journal section module for you, and you can see there's a number of tests that we could perform on this journals report here, one of which is the specific comments, and this tool works in exactly the same way. Um, we can add that stored list, and so you can do that as part of, uh, of larger testing as well. And there is also in the expenses section module, there's a specific comments tool in that one as well. Okay, the next tool I'd like to show you is the global find and replace tool. And where specific comments will search a single worksheet or range for lots of different words, global find and replace can search lots of worksheets or workbooks for one particular word or phrase. So what I've got here is six different files that have come in from different divisions. And these contain credit card information. And this has come from directly from the credit card provider. And importantly, it includes the merchant category. And this is how the credit card provider has categorized that expense and what category it's gone into. And what we want to do is analyze those six files for any cases where we've got disallowed merchant categories being used. So here I've got a document that's come from the Visa website and lists out all those categories. And the first one I'm going to look for is veterinary services, as we wouldn't expect any employees at this company to be claiming for vet services. So I'm going to run the global find and replace tool, and I'm going to specify the folder that I want to look in, specify the words that I want to look for, and hit next. And teammate analytics will go off and analyze all of those workbooks, search for that value, and give us a list here of all the matches that have been found. Now I'm going to export that to a sheet. So close that, I can come back, I can change this if we now want to go and look for a different word. So coming back to this document here, um, maybe we are interested in wires and money orders. And we can see all those cases where those have been found. So we can export that for further follow up as well if we like. So that is the global find and replace. Now, if there were lots and lots of different disallowed categories that we wanted to search for, then what we could have done is join using append sheets, which is another tool here. Add files, and open up all of those six files there. This tool will allow us to join all of these worksheets together into a single file. So I've got all of those six divisions now added into one single file and we'd then be able to use specific comments exactly as we saw before. Finally, the last thing I just want to quickly show you is the manipulate text tools. And we've got quite a number of tools that help you manipulate text within your worksheets, removing spaces, converting the cases, removing certain types of characters, those sorts of things. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you can see just how easy it is to carry out some textual and keyword analytics using Teammate Analytics, and you'll be able to go and carry out that sort of work for yourselves. Now, if you'd like more information about Teammate Analytics or to get your hands on a free 30-day trial, then please visit teammateanalytics.com and you'll find all the information there, including contact details for your local teammate representative who will be able to answer any questions you have. I've also put my personal email address up there just in case you've got any questions about anything we've gone through on the webinar. Please don't contact me for questions about the trial or buying Teammate Analytics. I'm not going to be able to help you on that. You need to go through your local teammate contact. But if you do have any questions about anything we've gone through on the webinar today, please do feel free to follow up with me on my personal email address there. So thank you very much for inviting me along and I look forward to answering some questions maybe later on.